Hey, hi and welcome to the channel. Look what came in from France today. It's a nice package from Architecture et Passion, a French company building laser kits. And I ordered a couple of kits just for building purpose to show you how you build kits and to place on our next diorama. As many of you know, we cut a deal with Patrick Dankart from Dankart Train Service in Belgium to distribute our products in Belgium, France and Luxembourg. So this would be a great opportunity to build a French looking diorama. So I ordered these kits, as you see, a small station, a waiting house, some fences, a toilet, you know, all these kind of things a small diorama could need. First of all, what we're gonna do is we check if everything's there. All the things you need to build just one of the kits. And we start with the station. So we're looking if the manual's there, if all the parts, laser cut parts, are in the kit and in the meantime we try to figure out and think a little bit about what we're gonna do and how we color this kit you know it's not always that easy and you have to think a little bit in front but i do think seriously seri seriously like these kits from architecture et passion well i meant that i seriously like these kits from architecture et passion. So what do we need? A couple of sponges, some acrylic paints to start with. You know I try to figure out which colors I like and like to use against each other or with each other and I finally decided to go on uh, a light yellowish tone or beige or whatever you want to call it tone. And then it's easy, we start with a bit of paint and fill in the surface with it. So you grab the sponge, fill it with paint and with a dabbing motion you fill the surface with paint. It's not that hard. Work your way around and as you see I leave a couple of outside things i don't know how you call it in english but as you see i leave the corners untouched time for another color i use a little bit oyster beige it's darker a little bit of contrast not that much and it's the same drill just go around and work your way around all the walls of the building As you can see, the sponge helps to create more surface, more structure, more wall, more realism. So now it's time for our final color. It's uh, buttermilk, a yellowish color. I liked it and I wanted it because it matches a little bit the prototype like this is now. Let's say that it was the same color back then. Same drill again, sponge it on to even create more texture. Oh, that's the word I was looking for, texture. You know, texture is key when you do weathering afterwards. So for now we're preparing the surface with three layers of color. And let it dry for a while before we go on. You know, there's laser cut kits, they have all these uh, nooks, uh, I don't know how you call them, but you have to cut them before you can go on. In this case, the base material is pretty thick because of the thick walls uh, French building have. Okay, I use multiple passes just to get a clean cut. Yeah, but you all know the drill. Just cut them and drop all parts out. So what you don't do is throw away the cutouts or the leftovers. We use them as a straight edge in this case for gluing. Use simple white glue or wood glue or yellow glue. I don't know how it's called in the US of a PVA I think. Just ditch a little bit in a small cup and add it with a small brush on the edges to be glued. And then 
with the use of the leftover. We glue the parts together straight and let them dry for a while. So we do the one, we do two walls and the other two walls separate for now. Because if we have it straight, it always will fit together. As you can see. Now, back on track. After the short drying time, we're gonna add glue again. Add the two big glued surfaces. Take both parts, add glue. <laughs> Sometimes it's pretty uh, hard to let it see on camera, but I think I manage. And then stick the entire building together. Looks easy. I think it is easy. And it looks good, I think. This building. For now. It's gonna look better afterwards. So this kit came with uh, some kind of interior build. We're gonna stick it together right now. The same way just add a little bit of glue on the edges and stick it together and let it dry. Kit almost builds itself. So with a couple of parts already uh, glued and ready, we have to think about the next step. So I would like to see all the glass work, doors, you know, all the woodwork in the building, I would like to see it as in a contrasty color, a little bit light blue. So I found a nice light blue and just started painting the stuff. You know, you don't have to do it all, but don't forget the inside of the edges. Well, and to keep your work and spot place a little bit clean just throw a paper rack underneath it again acrylics add in a little bit of white to add more yeah I don't know how you call it man to add more interest to the entire paint mix match Irregular paint jobs, eyeballing, you know the drill. Work your way around until you have all the parts finished. So for the next step, we uh, prepare some masking tape. Just uh, get rid of some of the tackiness. And we're gonna paint the little cobblestones underneath, on the underside of the building. Again with a sponge, dab it, dab it on. I take some basalt gray, but you know, I'm not satisfied with the structure. So I was thinking maybe I should add some of this Vallejo or Vallejo, Vallejo or whatever you call it, uh, rust texture to get some, a little bit more of a stony appearance. And I think it's gonna work. So we dab it on with a sponge and walk away around the building. Side, the side of the building, the front of the building. Can use this piece of tape a couple of times. And I think I like it. This is giving more of a little stony appearance. But hey, the brown color is not my cup of tea. So I'm gonna add some stone gray. A little bit of paint in the cup. 
thin it with a little bit of water. Mix it. Clean your brush. And then I take a bit of more pointed pure Kalinsky to paint all the rocks separate. Restore some of the lines in it. And enlighten the color with a little bit of silver gray. Paint some stones random. And as you see, I don't dip the brush entirely in the paint. And paint pretty random. few drops more of silver gray in, lighten the color even more and paint more random again. Well, next step is adding, yeah, you know, the, the cornerstones and the windows and all these kind of things. Oh man, pretty hard to come up with them, how you call them in English. But same drill, cut them from the paper, fold them along a straight edge. A little bit of a tedious job, but you, you know, you, you need to do it. I keep most of it inside of the paper before I cut them, so it's uh, you have more surface to work with. Fold the corners around the straight edge, and then it's time to glue them on. First I test fit them. Ah oh, wow, well, I think it's it's looking pretty good so far. And then I add a couple of drops of glue, smear them out with a brush. And you know, it's almost the entire story. You work your way around this building like this, and I don't mind a little bit of glue uh, peeping out or peeking out. Just use my fingers to smear it around. Go around the edge. And well, man, that's almost it for this episode. If you like my content, please subscribe and like this video. Well, we continue this build in the next episode. And there will be more to follow. Please stay in touch. Keep watching. Thank you all. Bye. Oh, yeah. And please excuse me for my lousy English. I have to get in again. See ya.